Hello and welcome to another edition of Fix 64. I'm Darren Hadley. And today I am unboxing and installing two SSDs in this GPD WinMax 2. It's a little 10.1 inch laptop kind of gaming device thing. It actually, well, you'll see it in a second. And those of you who are interested in them, I'm sure you've already seen them. So anyway, it has an AMD Ryzen AI9HX370 processor, an AMD Radeon 890M graphics uh, integrated GPU at 2900 megahertz, has 32 gigabytes of LPDDR5 7500 MTS, it also has a two terabyte SSD, but I'm going to put a four in. And then the, it has a little area where you can slide in a, a little 2230 M.2 also. So I'll do another two terabytes for a total of six. And it has Wi Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3. Okay, I, I bought an Oracle IG740 Pro. This is one I reviewed a little while back on the Alienware system and I loved it so I just got one for this. They are not sponsoring this video. And I also got a Silicon Power 2230 2TB. Two Alright, let's open this up and see what we have. Some heft to it. Ooh, they're pretty finished. It's almost kind of a purple. Anyway, yeah, it does. It has a let's see, an Oculink port, audio jack, HDMI, USB four ports. It has various triggers. There's an area where you can install a 4G LTE card and an SSD on this side at 2230. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, yeah, there's a trackpad up here. Nice little keyboard. Of course, you can play games on it. It's got all the, the buttons and all that. There's a little switch where you can go move between trackpad and the gamepad buttons. Okay. Very nice little unit. Powerful enough to take with you and get some work done or gaming. And then docking it and having an eGPU. And then it comes with a power adapter and a cable. And it looks like some instruction manuals. But something unique, or not unique, but I mean, something I haven't seen in a long time is they have an image of Windows you can download right from their site to restore the system onto a new drive if you have to. So. I can just throw in the new drive and be uh, totally fine without cloning. So that was exciting to find out. 
Oh, and then, yeah, for ordering, they tossed in this free protective case. That I, yeah, at the time I got it for 1300 on their site. And right now they're at 1426, but then, but then, um, I also got a little surprise from from customs that I and uh, DHL that I had to pay eighty three dollars to get it to the country. So that was a little surprise. So if you're ordering from them, make sure you figure that in. Yeah, just a word of warning. All right. Um, yeah, let's crack this thing open and throw in the new drives, and hopefully I don't break it. I just noticed mine came with a little scratch in it, which sucks. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's, uh... I hope I'm doing this right. I did not look at any documentation. I think these four on the back as well. I'm not sure if that's one under this paper right here. Yeah, it is. Kind of reminds me of MSA. Let's throw a sticker over one of the holes. Yep. Yeah, that did need to come, so it's good I unscrewed it. Well, that was uh, easy. I didn't even have to crack it open with a spudger or anything. Okay. Here's our SSD. Oh, this is a bit... I think on the old ones you had to remove the fan and lift it up. This is available right there. It looks like the battery's still buried under everything, so I can't unhook it. I'm a person that likes to unhook the battery before I mess with stuff, but this will not allow it, I don't think. Okay. Take the SSD out. Boom. Yeah, I don't I don't know where the battery disconnect is on that one. Okay, and then I'm just gonna peel that off. It's a Western Digital. And we will throw it on our Other drive, simply put it in. I believe the old ones, the older one models, you had to like lift up the fan and undo the screws on it and everything. But apparently on this, it's easier. So that should be all there is to it on that. Let's get it put back together. And that's one of the easiest upgrades I've ever had to do on a laptop. Thank you, GPD, for making it so easy. Oh, 
Okay, and then I'll do this side. And then the ISO image I downloaded from GPD's website, I just threw it on my Ventoy install disk. And all I have to do is start it up with that and should be good to install the OS again. And holes are all lined up on the back. Okay, that's all there is to it for the main. Now, oh, there's, wow, a card reader on the side too. Oh, and two more USB-A ports. This thing's loaded. Okay, let's do the 2230 SSD next. All right. Undo the SSD bay screw. I also heard you can like dual boot. You can throw like Linux on one and Windows on the other. Okay, so that kind of just holds it down once it's in place. Sure we're watching. Okay. So it will just lay down when I re-apply the door, like so. And this screw should hold it all in place. Let me make sure it's in before I... Wow. Talk about an easy upgrade. Even the internal one. Okay, voila. That's all there is to it. See if we can get uh, Windows to go on it now. Yep, it, it booted. It just uh, didn't show on the screen. So I will get down here to max two and win four Windows 11 ISA. Now I think it, yep, came up. Awesome. It sees both the Orico and the Silicon Power. Format SD0 and install. Yes, that's the Orica. So I'll hit enter. And we should be good. Here's a little progress update. Okay, there it is on the big screen. Hey, that band's sure loud. I hope that's not like how it is all the time. Takes a minute to get used to the uh, trackpad being up on the top. Cool, it even has a fingerprint sensor. Okay, we are now in Windows. It looks like all the original software is probably installed too, as there's Steam on there. And control 
thing for the Winmax too. I'll do another video probably pretty soon on on some of the features features of this. Maybe we'll hook up an eGPU or something. I'd like to thank all my subscribers, all of my viewers, and if you like what you see, please hit the like and subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of future videos, then please click the bell button. And I will see all of you in the next one. Thank you.